Uhu. Huh? Hey guys, this is Jim, and welcome to episode uh, eight, eight of Quern Undying Thoughts, the puzzle puzzle game that we are managing to slowly get through. Um, last episode, we finished up here and we unlocked these two uh, symbols there, so they're next to some doors that are currently locked around the place. One of them is here, so that guy there. Is, is that guy there, isn't it? It is. So there's a door into the into the rock, a rock door there, so we've opened that. Uh, and the other one was here, this cupboard, so that little... Well, it looks like a crystal, doesn't it? Uh, so let's uh, let's go check out... What, the crystal one's probably just here. Uh, in fact, right there, in fact, is the rock door. There's two rock doors. Was it one of these ones? No, this is the, the pickaxe one. Okay. Yeah, well, alright, we'll get to that in a sec, but the, the cupboard, I think, is up here. Yeah, over here. Okay, so, what have we got here? Uh-huh, ooh, uh... Oh, uh, oh, uh... <laughs> Okie dokie, let us take a sketch of that. Okay, so they're the symbols we just unlocked. Those two, right, there, there's the, the cave and the... Call the cave there, yes, and that's the um, crystal thing or this cupboard. Okay, so hmm, I'm not sure I can figure where you know what that refers to yet. Uh, however, something for us to keep in mind now is there anything else? I think it was just oh, hang on. Uh... Okay, we've got a couple of buttons there as well. All right, well, uh, let's grab a sketch of that too. Yeah, well, they're lit up at the moment. Um... <laughs> click, 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 without having any idea what they are. Oh! Is it like top button, bottom button, top button, bottom button, top button? Maybe. Um, except, like, how we reset it. Well. Given I've already clicked a few, if I keep clicking, maybe, well, how many is there looking at that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How many times have I clicked so far? I was listening out for a sound that maybe said it, you know, it was like it was resetting or something, but no. So maybe it's not that. Hmm. Okay, never mind. We shall now go check out that cave. So. Yeah, okay. Another another few things to add to our little uh, library. <laughs> our notebook has become like a library, really, of references to puzzles and things. Um, now, I think it's over here, where we had that door. I think. Yes? Yes, yes! I think that one over... Not that one? No, that, that, that one doesn't have a symbol. So there's this wooden door up here, with no obvious... Uh, way in and no sort of symbol or anything, but this one might have been it. Yeah, okay. In here. That. Into the caves. The cave. There you go. Oh. Okay. Okay, so how does this relate, not to those, to uh, to the buttons in the cupboard? Has it got anything to do with... I'm getting there. <laughs> no, no, no. We've got lots of sketches, don't we? We really do. No, no, that. Well, we could try. Well, we could try. Top, bottom, bottom, bottom. Top, bottom, okay. Um, hmm. So if we go top, bottom, 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 top, 
and then I'm doing this one here and then bottom top top bottom 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 top top bottom bottom aha I was on the right track ah good okay well we'll be able to do that back at the other one too uh, okay some goodies and some other goodies there which we can interact with which will be like a doorway there okay let's uh actually can we zoom in on we can well I can zoom in can I if I do that rightio let's take a sketch of that um, so that looks like one there doesn't it and this Two. Okay. He do a sketch on that. It's like a clasp on a door. If there's two doors and that's something across it, or, hmm, a bit hard to tell, isn't it? Now that does that relate to that? Possibly yes. Possibly yes. And it's the first thing we have to do, and this is the second thing. Hmm. Okay, but. Anyway, in the meantime, oh, hello, oh, hello, 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 we've got that. Take a sketch. Now, that definitely relates to that picture, doesn't it? Now, it's interestingly, it's got those symbols, which are on the little wheelie thing, back, uh, back in that little control room area there. Interesting. Oh, we've got sort of like a, a gear wheel thingy. Let's have a look at that. Like a, well, it's not really. Oh, it sort of is a gear wheel or a pulley wheel or something. Okay, cool. Uh, before we read the letter, is there anything else on this table that we can pick up? Doesn't look like it. Prefer or something? <laughs> uh, okay, uh, well, let's have a listen. By now, it must be obvious to you that I connected these marked doors and entrances to the main energy converter unit. Actually, this feature has nothing to do with the crystal battery machine's main purpose at all. I've implemented this secondary function in order to direct you along the path and prevent you from spoiling my well-structured course. When the converter is fully powered, meaning that all the batteries are in place, it supplies energy to the mechanics. I can only hope that she will not interfere with our work. She's but a desperate echo of a fallen civilization lingering here, agelessly. It is clear that she is not worthy of the gift that has been given to her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It supplies energy to the me mechanics. So they're little battery things, are they? Uh-huh. Okay, well, let's just do the, the, the ELP button, see if anything highlight anything else highlights around here. And... No, other than that. Right, well, if this is the first thing... Um, so... Well, anyway, we'll, we'll, how about we try and p press in the, the bits that are dark here? So, those ones there, so like uh, that one, that one, and that one, and uh, that one. I'm just going to have to keep turning my head, unless I just do, you know, that. <laughs> Maybe that'll be easier. Uh, and then, if we do that, that and that. And that centre wheel, wheel's turning as we do it. And then finally that one. And they came out again. Did I press the wrong one or something else? Or is there something else we need to do first? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Well, how about we get the blue torch? Out too. I mean, it's got the line there that's pretty obvious. Um, but just in case there's anything else hidden. Hmm, okay. Oh, yeah, there was a, a way out, out through here as well. So let's go have a look out here. Goes to the water here. Is 
there anything out here if I press the uh, press the button? Or is it not actually lead anywhere? So I'm holding down that button again to highlight anything that may be out here, but uh, it doesn't seem to be highlighting anything. Alright, well, okay, well in that case, oops, what we'll do is we'll go back to the uh, to the other spot and um, and press the buttons in the order. Yeah, this guy here. So if we do top, top, bottom, top, 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 bottom, top, top, and then bottom, bottom, top, bottom, top, uh, bottom, bottom, top, bottom, top. Aha! Aha! We get that. Okay, uh, let's have a look at that. What is... Oh! Okie dokie. Oh, that's got the same... Oh, it's got the same sort of shape as, uh, as the bottom of this. Does it? Maybe not. Maybe it's, they're both just hexagonal. Oh. No, I reckon... I reckon they look pretty similar, don't they? Oop, we get a good, good light there? Yeah. Okay. Right, okay, good. Okay, we've got that. Uh, right, is there anything else in that cupboard that we can interact with? Not those books behind it. I guess it's just highlighting that. Right. Okay. Yeah, so that shape, this is what, we, we use the red crystals there to, um, can we sit that on there? No, okay. Yeah, we use the red crystals to, uh, to start the fire there, uh, that guy there. I was just wondering if that's the same shape, whether we could sit that in there, but uh, it does not appear to be the case. Uh, okay, so there's four shapes on each side of that. Because if we look at this, if we consider that white line uh, there uh, as a dividing line, so if there was four of these pressed in, uh, the, the reason I'm thinking the four is for this thing, so we can do four numbers on this. So do we need to sort of translate, uh, oops, <laughs> steady, steady, <laughs> those four uh, to those four numbers there be able to try that and do it on that little wheelie thingamajiggy. Uh, yeah, this wheelie thingamajiggy. <laughs> so, yeah, so if we try and find the pictures. Uh, so, it depends. I don't, I don't know what would, the order would be. Is it one, two, three, and four? Or, yeah, and sort of translate that into that. Um, so, we'd want to press in that and then so what was that? That's that shape, those, those, and that. Now I wouldn't know what ordering to do it in though. That's the problem. So potentially though, if we uh, if we try that and get those symbols on here, hmm, I think I've hit a snag with that because this uh, this symbol here with like the four four short lines and two long lines there, uh, if that sort of corresponded to to the other picture there, unless we're meant to not touch those, we're meant to do these ones maybe, but uh, yes, that, that shape isn't actually on any of these it's uh, it's like one line with a, one vertical line with the four little ones, but not the other one hmm yeah, and that shape there is not on the wheel thing either so this may not be what we need to be doing that's not on there either. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, in fact, just before we leave this room, so this was the latest one we put in. If we take it out of there and put it in there, and then do this. So again, this one lights up a different set of all those lights there. Uh, let's sketch that one up, just in case. Oh. Oh, I had an idea, but no. 
I was thinking like one, two, three, four. Yeah. Hmm. Although, although maybe, maybe there is something to that. Maybe that gives us an indication of the order we need to press in, uh, press in those buttons. So maybe we will try that. Yeah. Yeah, that might be... Look, we'll give it a go. Um, so, like, number one is there. And that's the first one we need to press. So, if we press that first. And then, so on and so forth. Um, and, you know, if we think, do we sort of one... This is, this is four. And then five, maybe, is with one horizontal line. Like that. And then six would be this. And all the way up, and then the next ones would be uh, this. Then I think that's nine, sort of ten, etc., etc. Now this one though is a bit odd, isn't it? Oh no, because there's that there. Hmm. So maybe I'll, I'll, I'll try that. Yeah. Okay. So fourteen there. Then fifteen is this one there. So we do want to press that in. Fifteen. And there we go. Okay. So that was it. Ooh. Okay, right, so that's the first part, and there's another little thingy there, battery thing for the, uh, for the door control. Okay, alright, so that means now the second thing is this, uh, that, maybe that's a bar, like on the bar of the door, so, you know, there's nothing, you know, it doesn't look like we can actually interact with that door directly. I mean, we can with the thing in the back there. <laughs> um, right, but there's got to be some other meaning for than this. I mean, flicking through the sketchbook and everything, I don't have a sketch of it, but is that like the telescope maybe? It's about the only thing I can think of at the moment that might sort of correspond to it. Um, sort of, that's the eyepiece, you put a torch on the telescope and then it... So we may have to shine the telescope at something. Uh, in f yeah, in fact, I think it's just... Can we see the telescope from here? No. I mean, it's, it's just around the corner. Um, oh, through there. So where are we over there? Mmm. May well, it seems to it seems to be drawing the telescope. I'm pretty convinced of that now. <laughs> convinced myself. So yeah, we might have to shine this guy. Yes, this building's in the way. I think it would be over there. Otherwise, sort of round. Oh, I might even be around more behind the island. Um, yeah, and sort of just looking at that picture. Yeah, if you look at that sort of picture there, and then we see it all the way through here. Oh boy, look at all those drawings. <laughs> They've been very useful though, I must say. It is a good little mechanic to help you just remember uh, all the puzzles you've seen. Yeah, so, yeah, like that. Yeah, that's it. That is definitely it. So, uh, okay, so which particular torch do we need to put on there? <laughs> Either the blue one or, uh, or, the, or the yellow one. And then where do we need to point it? <laughs> so that's the next question. Yeah, uh, alright, I'll have a look around, see if I can find a spot to point it to. I mean, where we've used pointed before was up there, onto that. Yeah, look, and given we have, I'll just duck back and check the door and see if that's actually done anything. Nope. <laughs> uh, may, maybe, maybe. So that flag there... So, that's number two. Right. That's that same number two symbol, isn't it? So, do we need to shine that light on it right there? Uh, look! We, mm, it didn't make, you know, like a big whoosh or something. <laughs> a big whoosh. Big whoosh sound uh, when we sort of shone it in the middle. But, look, we'll, we'll do that with that one. Uh, we'll give it a go with the blue torch in a sec. Um, 
but yeah, we'll duck over and have a look, see if that's done anything. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Yeah, there's definitely the number two there. That's definitely what I think we're seeing. Uh, yeah, just took the blue one off. What about this thing we picked up? Can we put that in there? Oh, that's what it is. And that's got that shape that we sit this on. Ah. That's going to be it, isn't it? And now that's on fire. Hey, and this game is saving. <laughs> What's it revealing? Um, oop. Oh, it's going to be the shape again for... Yeah, okay. So, alright. So, let's uh, let's take that off. And that, oop. And, uh, and take that off. Right, 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 right. And then, okay. So, that's... Yeah, that's, that's just the shape we want. Um, and again, we might have to do it in order using those that number system again. Yeah, actually, can I get a better a better picture of that zooming in? Sort of. <laughs> sort of. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna have to go through it again, and with the ones that are highlighted or there or white there, um, but press those uh, in the order of that numbering system again now. Interestingly, this is pointing to the arrow up, so we may have to have this sort of rotated around. I may have to just keep that in mind as I'm working through. So the number one is this one here, but with the arrow pointing down, it's actually going to be that one over there. Um, yeah, that's going to be tricky. Yeah, that'll actually be number one. And then I'll have to just keep switching through the pictures here and see, well, is number one actually lit up up there? And the answer is no. <laughs> okay, so I've done it twice and it hasn't unlocked yet. Uh, so I've been considering like the lit up ones are the ones you push down, but maybe the dark ones. I'll give that a go, see if that uh, does anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that one, which is this one, which is yes. No. much longer to figure out way much a lot <laughs> way much a lot I, I even resorted I'll, I'll show you I resorted to taking screenshots oh I can't show it in front of it uh, anyway I've got on my other monitor screenshots essentially of uh, oops there we are we're back good of that uh, rotated 180 degrees and screenshots of the image uh, up there as well, rotated 100, so 180. So we had to rotate both that and that, and then do it in that order. And uh, yeah, that was tricky. That was tricky. And yeah, and the one last, that was the last one. So the the the, the white light, so the bits that were highlighted, um, which was actually that that spot up there was actually that spot there. Yeah. Oh boy, that. Oh. Ooh. Oh! Ah! So if we take that off, the door closes. Now... We did get one of these, didn't we? So if we pick that up... And that's closed, and we put that down. Yeah, it doesn't weigh enough. Right, okay, well I reckon... Uh, this is where we saw those little little way scale things so we may have to look at filling in those with something um, sand or something oh, uh, oh we got a spoon didn't we? Oh. would you get a spoon I wonder if we can use the spoon to pick up the sand yeah way back oh boy it's some, one of the rooms somewhere hm, I went past it walked straight past it there so yeah uh, Right, so yeah, we're going to need one of those batteries in there and then put this in there and get them to weigh the same amount. Yeah. So we'll take one of the existing ones as a reference. 
Yes, yeah, so we want to put, say, that in there. Then we need to put, have we got the spoon? Where's that spoon? Can I spoon that up and then put that in there? And up and there. Up and get those to be the same weight. Is this what we need to do? Oh, too much. Take a spoon out. Put it back down there. <laughs> All right, but we really need to put it into uh, into this bucket, don't we? First. So, oh, how many spoons was that? Because then we could just can we spoon into that, like 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 that, and then into there we can. Ah. All right. So I think then. Uh, we get that to weigh the same as that. So if I take those spoons out, yeah. Uh, so four spoons of sand gets those two to be the same weight. Now that's that just accounts for the sand and not the weight of that, but maybe that doesn't matter. So if we put, so I've already got one in there, if we put like another three, and then we'll try and put that uh, onto the weight where the other one is. Okay, yeah, I had to run back and put the uh, the one of those that we picked up back uh, so that we could get in again. Alright, and we put that there. Yeah, so we weren't allowing for the weight of the bucket itself. So if we put the bucket itself on there, then that goes down a little bit. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. So... I get all the sand that's in that one just for the moment. We got it all? Yeah, okay. So if we have four spoons of sand in here to weigh the same as the battery there, like that. Okay. Then if we put the this guy on there, so we need to put enough sand on here so that it weighs the same amount as that. So let's get the spoon of that, like that there. Oops. Let's see how about that. Hey! There we go. Oh good. Perfect. That should be it. I've just got to take this back so we can get back into the cave. Alright. Do we do the, the Indiana Jones? Switcheroo? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Lovely. Alright, on that note, we've run out of time, guys. So, ooh, oh, hang Who on. Who are no. you that wanders this world uninvited? Another explorer? What are you seeking? Power? Immortality? Or are you just a fool looking for salvation? You can't simply enjoy the power of Quernaluk, not without consequences. You must leave the same way you came here, for your own sake. Ooh. <laughs> Well, if we knew how we got here, maybe we could. <laughs> yes, well. Hmm. Well, well, well. On that note, guys, yes, we've gone a little bit over than uh, what I was hoping, but doesn't matter. We got there in the end. Uh, we'll put in the new battery next episode and, uh, and see what we unlock then. Yeah. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, though. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.